Come on and dance with me. Today on the Isabel Show, we're going to start a batch of triops. From the age of dinosaurs, just add water and they hatch in 24 hours. Triops. 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 This is our snail tank. We raise four different kinds of snails. Malaysian trumpets, bladder snails, mysteries, and ram forms. We have it set up like SpongeBob. They're all named Gary. The big one's Fat Gary. So our pamphlet says, Congratulations, you're about to embark on a biological adventure that will take you back to the age of dinosaurs and give you weeks of enjoyment as you grow your very own living dinosaurs. So it says that triops are crustaceans that look like miniature horseshoe crabs. Here is our other fish tank with all of our mollies. <coughs> Larger members of the crustacean family include crabs and lobsters. Smaller members are brine shrimp, fairy shrimp, and daphnia. Triops have a relatively short lifespan of 20 to 90 days and grow quickly to their adult length of 1 to 3 inches. How large they grow depends on the amount of light and food they receive. After hatching, they often double in size daily. The bright colors of the triops are due to hemoglobin in the blood and dark blue-green pigment in the connective tissue. Okay. So triops use abdominal appendages to transport food along the midline of their bodies up to their mouth. They are called branchiopods because they obtain oxygen from water through their feet. The young quickly move through several larval stages, shedding their exoskeletons each time. Adults can complete their life cycle in under 30 days. Triops are usually in constant motion. They have entertaining feeding and breathing patterns that include amazing acrobatics, upside down swimming and eating. And you know, we're going to take film and pictures every day to show how our triops have gone. So stay tuned to see how they go. We're going to put the eggs in our snail tank. Um, some other fun facts. Why did triops outlive the dinosaur? Millions of years before the Tyrannosaurus Rex ruled the earth, triops was evolving a method of reproduction that allowed the developing of embryos to survive the drying up of temporary ponds. Their amazing process is known as suspended animation, or diapause. Um, scientists have found that triops eggs can remain dormant for more than 25 years. 
In other words, the little tryouts slept while the dinosaurs disappeared. So we are going to grow our tryouts. These are tryouts eggs, and we're just going to dump them in to the snail tank. It says to put part of a peeled carrot in there and that they'll grow a lot faster on day one. Um, by the end of tomorrow, they should be hatched. So we're just going to let them go and wait and see. Here is a tryouts update just before bed. They're all just kind of bunched up, not hatched. Um, the packet also said if you put a carrot with them, that they do better and they double in size faster if you have a carrot for their first day. So we're going to add in a few sliced carrots. And a puffer that's swimming around, not really eating snail. The teenager suffers a cut lip and bruising on her face. It's late, and they still haven't hatched yet, so we'll have to wait and see if they hatch in the morning. Still haven't hatched yet, and it's morning. It is 1 o'clock the next day. Still eggs not hatched. Izzy's Magic Paintbrush. Izzy's Mad Science Minute. Today on Izzy's Mad Science Minute, we're going to do snow in an instant. Look, Izzy. A spoon. You don't need a spoon. Look at snow. And Look at it expanding. And a spoon. You have snow. A hot 
snow. Yeah, you have snow. You know what? We're going to stick it in the freezer for a couple hours and then try and make a snowball, okay? That's so. Yeah. No. Uh, I have. How is it done? The snow powder is made of super absorbent sodium polycrylate. This means that when it comes into contact with water, the powder instantly expands. This is because of the chemical process called osmosis. Osmosis is the transfer of water molecules through a thin, partially permeable membrane, which lets a certain amount of water molecules pass through its structure. When water is added, the water molecules rush to break through the membrane and polymer expands because of the absorbed water. Her snow has frozen and now she's going to play with it. Uh. Is it cold? Is that a snowball? Yeah. Come on and dance with me.